Hi guys, last time we started uh, implementing an HTTP server in Java, so let's continue. So what we have, we have a server socket, which is just listening on port 8080 to incoming uh, TCP connections and it is serving a hard-coded JSON response. So I think we should add reading a request that client is sending to us. So let's see how it should look. So this is an uh, anatomy of the HTTP request. So we need to have a request line, which consists of the method, URL, and the protocol version. Then we have new line, uh, headers, two new lines, and optionally body. Actually, I think headers are also optional. Maybe let's start uh, to model it and probably we will just read headers today. So let's get back to our code. What we need? We need a, we need a method, we need a URL. We probably can ignore uh, HTTP version or protocol version for now. Then we need the headers. In a body. So, how about creating a record? Because actually, we are using Java 17. So, hmm, HTTP request is taken. So, maybe let's leave it like that. Oh, it's a bit static. Rec. Uh, we need a method. So let's do a method URL. Uh, headers are multi value actually, meaning that for one key we can have multiple values. So let's model it as a multi value map. Like that. Then we have a body uh, which is just a array of bytes. Right, and here we have a new client connection, so we need to read a request. So, how about creating a method which basically we will Return HTTP request. Send HTTP request. Uh, let's accept a socket, which can be a connection. Let's return null for now. Let's call it maybe here. Okay, it should be static. Requests and uh, okay, so we have a socket connection. And to read that, we need an uh, input stream. So let's write it. Connection should give us our input stream. Exception, so let's state that. And now, uh, okay, it probably is easier to read it line by line as a string. So let's wrap it into a reader actually. So R for reader. And uh, for now, let's just uh, just write maybe fixed plan and check if it works or not. Uh, okay, what is not right? Some definition expected. Okay. So let's. 
page is here this line print to make sure that everything works. So, so let's start the server. Okay, let's start that. Let's go here. Something crashed. So good, it's close. Okay. Because we closed input stream, I guess. So maybe uh, let's remove this before I catch. So we have a request line, and as you can see, we have a method, URL, and a protocol version. So let's take a method and the URL. Maybe let's create a simple method like that. Um, or actually, you can do this. Here. So maybe let's ignore invalid inputs and let's uh, just say that we are interested in method URL. So let's take this first line, split it by white space, and uh, we are interested only in first two. So method URL and this method. Be enough because we will have uh, a get URL in this case slash and then a method here, but we don't care. And not method but protocol version, but we don't care about that for now. So let's just return our HTTP request. Let's give it a method URL. Empty map. map. And uh, let's print it. So we have a request. To start our server. Right. Let's refresh. Okay. So we have a method. Just get. And we have our empty URL. So maybe let's change the URL. So I don't know. Oh, something more here. Oh. As you can see, we have we have a new URL, which is indexing HTML. Hmm. Actually, maybe instead of re uh, reading headers for now. Let's do a different request, but it would be hard to do <coughs> in the just by the in the browser. We can use Postman, Siri, Core, and we actually can write a JavaScript. So let's just write some fetch request because we can do this in the browser actually. So we can say fetch. Text for now, and let's say that let's check what we got. So, got some response. Line is null. Hmm. Strange. Hmm. 
interesting. Okay, didn't expect that. Now let's restart it. Okay, let's ignore this for now. Um, so we have a request. Okay, and now let's change a method here. Method. Post. Here we go. Post. have it guys okay so I think actually it's enough for now or for today and next time we will probably read headers or headers and a body so see you